Hi and welcome to your next lecture in Computer Science for Everyone. The previous lecture we talked about while loops. This time we're going to talk about a bit different type of loop, which is called the for loop. These are a bit more difficult than the while loop, but they are the most important loop of all. There are three parts to a for loop. In the first part, we create a variable that's going to be our index. That's why I've called it i. This is going to take count of how many times we've repeated the loop so far. So at the beginning, it's going to be equal to zero because we have never repeated the loop. Then we decide on what terms the loop is going to run. So while y is sorry, sorry, while i is less than five, we're going to run this loop. And finally what is going to happen at the end of each repetition. So we're going to start at i equals zero. We're going to repeat while i is less than five. And at the end of each repetition, we're going to increase i by one. I appreciate that I haven't yet explained what the plus plus means, but it's just that. It is increasing the value of a variable by one. So, this is how it's done. We put those three parts inside brackets and before them we put the keyword for. So for int i is zero, while i is less than five, we increase i by one and we do something. So it's not that complicated. However, you need to remember the three parts and the order in which they go. First of all, we define the variable that we're going to use as an index. And we initialize it to the value we want. It doesn't have to be zero if we don't want. Then, on what terms the loop is going to run. In this case, we're going to run it five times. From zero, one, two, three, and four. When i is equal to five, i is no longer less than five, so we don't run it if i is equal to five. And finally, the last part of the for loop is what is going to happen at the end of each repetition. In this case, we're going to increase i by one. So the things that I want you to get from this lecture is how to construct a for loop, the three parts of the for loop, and that a variable plus plus increases the value by one. And then between the two curly braces, we put what we want to repeat the number of times that we've specified. Let's go into the next video where we'll try to program for loops and see if we can clear out any doubts you may have about them.